Hi everyone, Mary from Ireland here with our daily reading for May the 3rd. How are you all doing? I'm sticking with the same three decks, so we will go to the, uh, I'll change hands there. Go here somewhere, the butterfly visions, which one, which one, which one. There's two wanting to come, I think. These two. Oh my goodness, here we are again. Was yesterday relationships, romance and abundance. We'll stay here on the left hand side. Oh, signs. Okay, and we'll go down here in, what now till I change hands again, in here somewhere. Uh, this one. Oh, the hard work. Oh, to me, this is about hard work and water. And to me, at this stage, things, I'm getting the message, keep it simple. Things have to be easier than they were. Um, we don't have to work as hard. That's my feeling on it. But I happen to be in or on a path where things are coming easily to me, but the results of the work are not coming. So I will have to leave it to you to figure out, like what I could say here is the romance card and this is about hard work. All that hard work will be worth it, but you don't have to do a lot more hard work. Rom this hard work brings romance and abundance. But if you can change the mindset to ease and grace rather than hard work and more hard work, and more hard work and more healing and all of that. That's kind of what I'm getting now from my own journey at the moment. So these are the signs and the synchronicities. Follow your intuition, your signs, your sinks. Now, this is a pump where they used to get water in Ireland years ago. There's none of them working anymore, but they just bring in lovely clean spring water. So you need your water if you're not drinking enough and make sure it's clean. In days gone by, people went to the pump to get their water. It was beautiful, cool, clean spring water from Mother Earth. It was hard work carrying the water, but the benefits were great. What is your heart showing you? Do you feel the path ahead might be too difficult? Could it be that if you believe passionately and keep going, the benefits will be great? Let the vision of the greater benefits nudge you forward. You are asked to take plenty of rest when you need it. There is no rush, no need to be the harsh boss, the timekeeper. Enjoy the journey and the celebrations when you reach the finish line. So you may be on, uh, you may be led onto a path where you had the energy once again to say, oh no, not more hard work. But through my journey in the last week, last Saturday, that's where I was. No, and it's not really. I was resigned to the fact that what was going to happen, um, that I was at the end of a journey, at the end of a path. I couldn't go any further with it. I had to go the medical route. I think I was saying that in some video or the curve curveball video. And on Saturday, I had surrendered. On Saturday night, I had two dreams. And on Sunday, all the inspiration started coming to me and what I needed to do, who I needed to contact and expand on. Actually, it was bringing in some more, um, some of my own inner gifts and inner stuff that I had learned my gifts earlier in my journey that I hadn't really been using. So it was pushing me more inward, but I did still contact people that I was inspired to contact and every little helps put it that way so if you're feeling that you haven't got the energy to go any further rest and ask for inspiration and in the quiet time and going into yourself and being calm you're going to get your inspiration but this to me um in this reading is the past this is the way it was in the past and this pump was in the past. It's past old stuff. And it's all the hard work you've done already. And it's going to bring you romance and abundance. 
A new or revived romance is coming to you. Open your heart to receive this offering of love, a romantic getaway maybe in your future. And the abundance card. Be open to receiving abundance in your life. The universe will provide for you as needed. The abundance will come in different forms. And then watch the signs, the synchronicities. There's nothing on the back of that. I feel I want to pick another one of these um, just to uh, add to that. The Robin. I saw him today and I out walking. I said, hi, Robin. So that's another sign. So your signs, your synchronicities. To me, that's your loved ones in spirit saying hello. But whatever it means to you. And uh, will I pick another one? Will I choose another Oh, the meeting table. I got this this morning myself. My goodness. Um, but it's reminded me to go back. I couldn't do the meditation I wanted to do. But what does this meeting table bring to mind? To you? I'm not going to say anything more. If it was a meditation I needed to do that it brought to my mind. But uh, a meeting table. A meeting. Do you need to meet people? Do you need to talk to them on the etheric? Or do you need to talk to them in person? So I will leave it at that. Very good. The romance and the abundance and the hard work, like when you're in these meetings, you know, trying to get everybody to agree or compromise is hard work too. Or maybe it's not. Who knows? So I'll leave it at that. Take care and I'll talk to you tomorrow.